Oh, I don't know. GQ, I'm buying both. I don't care. I don't care about your rules. Hey, I'm Issa Rae, and I'm about to go on a GQ shopping spree with their credit card. <laughs> <laughs> Music, let's take a look at some music. City Girls, period. What is this, the vinyl? I love the City Girls. I'm co-producing a show with them called Rap-ish in Miami coming out next year. Obviously I already have this album, but I'd love to own it in the flesh. Oh, blood Orange. Y'all are gonna make me buy one album and one of them is already like a business partner, so I'm biased. But Blood Orange is actually also doing the music for rap shit. So he's also collaborating. Love him. His music is from the future, but it's also retro. We used his music on Insecure a lot. Huge fan. Y'all put some Drake on here. Y'all know how I feel about Drake. Certified lover boy. Yeah, okay, $11.99. Um, Kanye West, Donda, no thanks. All right. Music summary. I'm definitely, I'm gonna go with City Girls. Oh, I don't know. GQ, I'm buying both. I don't care. I don't care about your rules. I'm buying both. I'm buying City Girls and Blood Orange. Sorry. Thank you so much. Okay, cars. Listen, I'm terrible with cars, but I like electric cars a lot. Let's see what we have going on here. Oh, it's like you knew. <laughs> 2022 Tesla Model X, 113,940. Listen, it's a Tesla. I have one, I love them. My Tesla used to be blue, so I called it Blueberry, Blueberry Boot. But then, you know, I started getting recognized in it. My windows aren't tinted. <laughs> it's very, you know, noticeable. And I just recently got a wrap during the pandemic in tinted windows. And you could swear I'm bad bitch in this, so. <laughs> I'm a little fly. What the fuck is a Rivian? What is a Jeep? Is this electric? <gasps> what? Okay, I'm easily swayed because this shit is fire. $70,000, wait, it must go like five miles without being plugged in. It can drive through three feet of water. I need that. We're in a drought, but you never know. It goes 314 miles and it's only $70,000. Is this shit out? Is this car out? How come nobody's put me onto this? Yeah, I want an electric SUV and this is fire. Oh, okay. 1976 Cadillac Castilion, is that how you say it? Fleetwood Estate Wagon, $33,000. Absolutely not. This is a hearse. Like you can hide bodies in here. I guess if I were to take a second career as a murderer, I might consider this, but you know, everybody would find me. But this is not really my steez. 2022 McLaren Spider. Ooh, I'm a big Spider Man fan, so anything spider centered. $319,000, just kidding. Um, this is not that fly. Turbo Chargers takes it from a standing start to 60 miles per hour in just 2.8 seconds. Wow. It's a sports car, right? Like, this would be sexy, but it's not for me. And it's not electric. Then no. Why am I going backwards? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the future. All right, the car summary. As much as I love a Tesla, this R1S is fire. And I want to try that out. For $70,000, I'm going with it. You'll see me rolling. So I've been meaning to go on a weekend getaway. Let's see what they're talking about. Invisible house in Joshua Tree. Joshua Tree, I always think about like drugs and shrooms. As a private pool, pool view, and a patio. Damn, this is nice as fuck. This mirrored 22 story horizontal skyscraper virtually disappears into the surrounding desert landscape. God dang. Look at it at night. It's like it's on Mars or some shit. The sky doesn't even look like our sky. This is a rich sky. Okay. Treehouse point, $600 a night. It's the Trillium, it roosts 16 feet high in a tremendous cedar tree. The soaring walls of windows with a total of 80 panes. Am I seven? Like, what do I need a treehouse for? Okay, I get it. 
You know what, when I was little, I desperately wanted a tree house up until I was 12. And then when my mom found a house to rent and it had a tree house and I was ecstatic, I would dream about that tree house every single night. I was like, oh, we finally got one. And then when we moved in, it had hella bugs in it. I forgot that it's a tree house, you know, it's in a tree. Bugs live in a tree, spiders live in a tree. They lay spider eggs that be in the corners of the tree house. Like, why would I want to be in there? How am I supposed to solve mysteries and the spiders, you know, in the tree house? Never got in it. Um, no thanks. Sonoma, California wine country, $15,000 a night. $15,000, like, are they giving you unlimited bottles of wine every night? Like, what comes with that price? Views of Alexander Valley and Mount St. Helena. If I knew what those places were, I'd probably be impressed. Okay, it's got a nature feel. I have so much respect for nature, but I don't want to be in it, you know? I do love vineyards, but I like the vines to be squeezed into a drink already. Like, I don't need to like be amongst them, you know? Poconos Palace, Roman Tower Suite, $447 a night. What is this big ass champagne? Okay, a seven foot champagne glass whirlpool overlooking the living room. This is a little too pink for me and burgundy. And the champagne glass looks dirty. I'm like, how do you climb to get into that glass? Like, I would feel stupid climbing in there. Like, I would feel immediately unsexy, like, that I had to do that. Rose petals on the bed. I don't need all that. The heart-shaped jacuzzi, okay. It's, it's kind of fly. It's still too much burgundy. Are they cleaning the jacuzzi? Like, couples are clearly fucking in here. And so there's, like, a lot of other juices that I don't want. I would honestly have to bring some Lysol wipes if I stay here because, mm, mm All right. You know what? I'm definitely, without a doubt, going for this invisible house in Joshua Tree. I'm booking it. Ooh, jewelry. So I actually just recently bought my most expensive piece of jewelry like ever in life a couple months ago. There were some diamond Tiffany earrings that I bought for a special occasion. I felt like a boss, like I felt, I felt rich. But I don't know if I'd do that again, but with GQ's money, let's do it. This is an MM6 Maison Margiela green flock diamond ring. Is it actually diamond $275? Band ring and green flocks, 100%. No, I don't want my shit to look like artificial grass. I appreciate it, but it's like, this is like Teletubby jewelry. I don't want to look moldy. I would respect this on someone else. I wouldn't personally rock it. Mateo 14 karat gold malachite and diamond earrings, $3,000. I like to wear the same pieces for the most part daily. You know, I'll switch it up for special occasions, but I like statement pieces that are my pieces. This is really gorgeous, but you know, I'm not in love with it. Green isn't my color. Ooh, so custom gold grills, tri-color diamond cut with diamond dust iced fangs. This is fire, $4,400. You can get yours done in 10K, 14K or 18K gold. The fangs takes I see to a whole new level, giving you all three colors of gold in one grill. I will rock the shit out of this. I would buy this in a heartbeat. I have a couple of grills. I feel like I, I dabbled. The first pairs that I got were like fangs. I just wanted, you know, diamond encrusted fangs to match my Tiffany diamonds earrings. I got a bar and I rocked that to the Emmys and it was like a diamond encrusted bar with fangs. And then I got a gold bar with fangs, but I have yet to get like, all this laced up, you know? Okay, so this is L'Enchanteur, the Midas Touch finger caps. Oh, this is cute. Like, I would rock this right now. And it's $220, is it for the whole set? Or is it like per, per finger? Like, my ring is loose right now. I don't know what it is about my fingers, but they gain and lose weight so quickly. It's crazy. I would have to get them custom fitted, you know? Obviously. All right, so. I'm definitely gonna get the most expensive thing. $4,400 grills, that's what I'm getting. Cause these are gorgeous. I'm gonna add this to the cart. Thank you, GQ. 
clothes. Let me tell you, I have no patience when it comes to shopping for clothes. I need to know what I want, get in there and get out. But GQ's hooking me up. So let's see what y'all have to offer in the clothes department. Ooh, this model doesn't even look happy to be wearing this dress, but I feel like I could rock the shit out of it. It is an AVAVAV, a va va va, multicolor cutout dress, $430. You know, I feel like it's giving me a little 70s vibe. The mold ring will set this dress off. I think that that's an aesthetic. Each piece is constructed using the highest quality of fabrics. Prove it. This looks like Lycra or spandex. 95% polyester. You just said the highest quality of fabrics. Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Okay, Rick Owens black net tank dress, 1325. This is kind of fire. I'll have to be like, you know, securing my shit. I have to be working out to rock this, but I would rock this without a doubt. It's a little cover up situation. It makes me feel naughty, dominatrixy. I'll probably wear this to the club. I'll wear this to the beach. I could wear it anywhere. I could wear this to a house party. Like this feels versatile, but I could, I would only wear it once. It makes an impression. And I don't want people to be like, girl, why are you wearing them fishnets on your body again? Like chill. So special occasion. A Montclair Pierre, what the, oh, Pharrell. I remember seeing this. This cover was fire. Let me tell you something about Pharrell. He could rock anything. This is $23,000. Pharrell is a trendsetter. He can make anything work. Anything looks good on him. Does it look good on me? No, I could not pull this off. I would look like a mountain. I would look like a volcano in this. This suit, Alexander McQueen, first of all, their suits are amazing. I got to wear a couple of them for Insecure this season, custom made, and I wanted to take them home. And red is one of my favorite colors. Silk satin straight leg pantsuit, $4,700, sold. It's inspired by the flag and national costume of Wales. Well, I don't need to know that, but um, I'm sold. I'm definitely, without a doubt, buying this pantsuit. It's some boss shit, some fly shit. Education. Oh, education. I love that. Rhode Island School of Design. Sculpture degree, four years, 77,280. I think design is amazing, but sculpting? Am I gonna go to school for four years for that shit? No. But let's see what else you have. Harvard Divinity School, Master of Divinity. The study of religion, I can do that on my own for $35,824. Dollars. I don't want to be in this kind of company. It doesn't sound like fun to me, you know? Penn State Astrobiology Dual Title Program. That's kind of fly, $39,248. Astrobiology is a field devoted to the exploration of life outside of Earth and to the investigation of the origin and early evolution of life on Earth. Honestly, this would influence my writing. Taking a course like this, I want to expand into different genres, so this might be a yes. MIT Joint Program Oceanography, Applied Ocean Science and Engineering, five years, $133,625. I like this because it's also sustainability focused. It cares about the environment, which I do too. And the ocean is such a big mystery. I just don't have time to figure it out. It's not gonna be on me. If it's up to me in five years, the earth is done, it's toast. I'm gonna go with Penn State Astrobiology and I get to have a PhD. You don't have to call me Dr. Ray, what? Sounds like a villain. Thank you guys so much for shopping with me. I expect all these gifts and all these programs as soon as I walk out, I added it to the cart. So thank y'all so much for helping me shop.